Hello, NetProf and NetProf students, and welcome. Please come with me to my apartment. That was the corridor, le couloir, and this is the entry. I don't think I need to translate that. And this is a small hallway that leads to other rooms we'll see in later courses. Please come into the living room. We're going to, in some cases during these courses of practical English, we're going to explain a little bit the difference between American English and British English. Sometimes the differences aren't too difficult, but in some cases they can cause problems. You just came out of what the Americans call an elevator, an ascenseur. Most people in Britain call it a lift, but for Americans, a lift is a machine with which you pick up bales of hay. So you can see the fun that you can have. Let's, in this living room, let's look at the furniture to begin with. First of all, you have here a divan or couch. I don't think I need to translate that because couch, coucher, comes from a French word. Then here we have a cupboard, armoire, but cupboard comes from a board where one kept cups. Here there aren't any cups, there are lots of books. Okay. I can't claim that all the books have been read, but they will be someday. Here we have a low table, which in very literary English could be called a low boy. A chair, a very simple chair. And since this is not only a living room, but also a dining room, we have a rather large table. And this is where we eat most of our meals. Here we've got a piano. It's not an upright piano, piano droit, nor is it a concert grand piano. None of us plays the piano that well, but it's nice to have a real piano here in the house. Over here is my desk. Not as messy as usually, but I think sometimes mess is equivalent to creativity. Then if you look out on the balcony, you can see another table, a balcony table, which fits in the general category of lawn furniture, mobilier du gazon, literally, uh, because we can wash it and so on when it rains, which it's doing right now, by the way. And I think that just about sums up. Here we've got a bookcase again, another bookcase. That pretty well sums up the furniture in our living dining room. Come back to you with another course on other aspects of practical daily life here in this apartment. Thank you for your attention.